So, water's cold. My uh, little companion is, uh, has been having to swim a lot because the water's high and the water's cold. So now she's, uh, she's all upset because it's, uh, she's cold. So I'm having to carry her. I've carried her now for about a mile. Since I have five more miles in front of me, um, it's not looking good. Um, she doesn't weigh a lot, but anyways, as we've been coming south here, came to some, uh, a little bit of a dry area, a little bit of a sandy beach still exposed, and I decided I was going to stop here, walked over this way, and I see something sticking out of the water, looks like antler, but I am not sure, so we're going to go back together, maybe it's nothing, it looks like there's antler sticking out of the water, we'll go back and take a peek, so here we go. All right, tucked you in here. You probably can hear me a little bit better now, I hope. And we're going to come up here. Like I said, it looks like it's antler sticking out of the water, but I could... Oh, it looks like there's two of them. Two tines there. See, right here's a tine. Here's a tine. It's stuck up underneath these roots here. And it's a shed. Huh. Well, I'll be dogged. The shed antler. An old one. Looks like, uh, I don't know if that's been chewed off or that broke off there. Hot dog. You don't find too many sheds. Way, obviously way late in the season for them. And this one's been around a long time. Nice shed. A lot of cleaning to do. But I will take it. I don't find very many sheds. My favorite saying. Shed antlers and I nary do meet. So, I don't know if I didn't have a wet dog and a cold dog and I might not have walked over this side but cool beans I like all this stuff down here seems to be a, a trait of some of the deer around here they have a lot of a lot of junk down on this end little, little points and gnarls and stuff coming off so okie dokie better better day than I thought it was going to be really windy though 20 to 30 mile per hour gusts so We'll keep moving. Scouts out. <laughs>